Hello, I'm Chris. Welcome to my printer farm. Uh, today I'm going to tell you about my uh, uh, my guider, flash force guider, which I uh, have decided to modify. The reason I modified it was because it's got a locked in uh, system. You can't make any changes uh, to the to the firmware or software other than apply flash forge upgrades and uh, when it, the latest upgrade came along and I, I flashed it up and it's at a bed leveling routine now I don't go in for bed leveling I prefer to do it manually auto bed leveling it took hours to do it and also I'd already thrown away the bed leveling sensor so um, I got a little bit annoyed at that and then when I inadvertently blew up the main board I decided to replace it with open source stuff. So I went for um, a, a Marlin board, I put an MKS um, Robin board in running Marlin software. It was okay, I'm not a great fan of Marlin life's too short to configure it so I, I decided I'd keep the MKS board for a uh, CNC uh, machine that I'm making and I put an SKS um, 1.3 board running SmoothieWare and SmoothieWare is excellent it's a little bit like RepRap you don't have to flash the firmware every time you make a change all you do is upgrade a config file and it's as easy as you like. So I put an SK 1.3 board in the in the guider, and um, I'll I'll make the, the the setup for the guider to a machine available. I'll, I'll I'll post the config file in the comments if anybody else wants to do a similar thing. Uh, the SK 1.3 board is a 32-bit board. It got put a decent set of uh, stepper drivers in 2208 or 2209 and it makes the, the machine much much quieter so much quieter that I decided I had to quieten the fans down as well and I put back converters onto the fans anyway I'll uh, I'll show you show you how it was all all done and if anybody wants to do anything similar I'll put my 3D printed files on Thingiverse and I'll post a complete description about um, what to do and how to go about the modification. How to make a Guider 2 into a Guider 3. Now the first thing is you'll notice is that the screen's changed and the reason for that is I've changed all the electronics in the Fresh Forge and you might ask me why I did that well here's the old stuff this is the main board taking it out that's the USB board that's the TFT screen TFT screen cable uh, the uh, extruder cable the extruder PCB I took all that stuff out because I decided I was going to upgrade the um, the stepper drivers because it is a particularly noisy printer and I took the first stepper driver out, upgraded it to a 2209, bang, magic smoke came out and I realized that the flash forge stepper drivers are wired upside down. The bottom's facing upwards and the top's facing downwards. Oh dear. Um, so I went on the flash forge website to see what a new board would cost me and I think 
it must have been made out of pure unadulted unobtainium or something like that because it cost an absolute fortune so I decided to replace it with a uh, cheap 32-bit board the Big Tree Tech SKR 1.3 in the UK 22 pounds from Amazon um, so I, I put that in I also put a Raspberry Pi with a screen touch UI um, so I can control the printer from um, from touch UI and octoprint the duck by the way you get free with the SKR 1.3 board what's not to like um, so I'll put detailed uh, pictures of this this setup the board's much much smaller it is a 32-bit board handles 2209 chips very nicely very quiet you can hardly hear the printer going printer noise that you can hear at the moment is the noise of the other printers uh, whilst I was doing that I took the extruder apart replaced the ribbon cable um, with a, a flexibly covered cable and all the wires inside are, um, are replaced as well inside the extruder is a much simpler arrangement now so that it only takes about a minute to dismantle the hot end and unblock the uh, nozzle or whatever it is that you have to do and you have to do it quite often with this printer so I changed I changed that as well I also put a camera if you can see it there so that I can monitor the printing from the spaghetti detective or can monitor it from octoprint I can also make um, time lapses using octolapse I'm doing a time lapse of this print at the moment which I'll show you in a minute um, the clock that I put in front of the extruder is to show you the, the time that the time lapse takes at the back of the printer I designed and printed and if you can see it I'll put a photos on anyway a A, a, um, a jam detector and filament out detector uh, it's not a simple filament out detector it will also stop the printer if there's a jam and if the printer starts making spaghetti i.e. it's not out of filament and it's not jammed then the spaghetti detective will detect it and and stop the print so it's belts, uh, braces, and another pair of braces. I replaced the side of the printer with an acrylic panel that I can open and shut and easily get at the electronics to tweak things and to control the, the Raspberry Pi. Um, the Raspberry Pi has got a full installation of octoprint on it at the moment it's a touch screen there you are you've got control over the printer temperature controls full installation of octoprint on the raspberry pi so what improvements did i make i um it's uh connectable now via Wi-Fi via Ethernet you, it's accessible on the internet it runs um, Octopi it runs uh, TouchUI on a Raspberry Pi screen 
it has got a finely manually finely tuned manually adjustable Z axis uh, which helps a great deal with with uh, leveling the the print platform um, it's got a built-in uh, camera it's got uh, much better accessibility from the side and to the uh, and accessibility to the, the hot end so that you can change uh, change nozzles and access it easily um, all the things that I I found that you, you didn't have uh, with the original uh, Guider 2, um, I've tried to add them to make it a decent printer, to make it a better printer for my purposes.